Okay, so uh, why don't you tell me and everybody that's listening how you feel about your current English writing abilities and how you feel about writing scholarship essays. Okay, uh, I think, you know, man, I got two B's uh, for my first year in college as far as English goes, so I think I'm pretty good. I mean, I started out, you know, with a C, and then honestly, I'm, I'm not a lie, I'll be honest with you, I'll be up front. Started out with a C in the summer. Uh, that was really difficult. And then I just got better at it. I got two Bs um, to end off the freshman fall and then the uh, spring grade. I got two Bs. So uh, as far as, you know, saying what I want to say, yes, you know, I think I can do that just as well as anyone else can. Maybe, you know, even a little better. Uh, I will admit I can sharpen my skills. There are a few things I can maybe work on as far as, you know, saying what I have to say, but in a shorter distance, like in a, in a shorter I guess you would say, uh, in a shorter time, but in, a, in a shorter uh, piece of paper, I guess you say, shorter <laughs> font. And so, uh, what I can do is I'll, um, you know, I guess I'll just, you know, start writing everything every here and there. Actually, I started thinking about writing a journal just to know how to keep things short and simple, you know. Not bullet point, but hey, you know, today, for example, today did, you know, three and a half hours of community service with Don Aguilar, you know. Um, planted seeds for grass to grow in, uh, I don't know, what was that, Tracy? Yeah, Tracy. So, you know, something, simple things like that. You know, had an amazing day today. You know, just right, doing things right. like that. Um, and also explaining myself better. My diction, I feel that my diction is where it needs to be. You know, can always move, always got room to improve, I guess you could say. Uh, but other than that, I mean, with the help of, you know, Ms. Crystal. And maybe uh, a few writing assignments uh, you know, get me back on A1 straight edge. But. Well, I certainly will work with you on this, but I think this is an area that a lot of people struggle with simply because mm -hmm. a lot of scholarship essays will say in 250 words or less or 500 words or less. And a lot of times in college, they want you to write a five-page paper or a 20-page paper, and it's so the opposite a of 1, what... A 1,000-word essay. Seven a bare minimum seven hundred and fifty page essay seven hundred and fifty word essay twelve size size twelve font times new roman size twelve font new roman uh site and site pay all that good stuff yes uh I guess writing a two hundred and fifty page essay wouldn't be as difficult you know you would think but saying what you have to say in two hundred and fifty words or less so. Yes. Of course, it's going to be something I need to practice. I think that there are a lot of people out there who get used to just kind of going on and on and on yeah. because they feel like in English class, that's what they have to do to yeah. get an A is to have this big, long paper. So as students, we're not always conditioned to give straight to the point direct responses. Agreed. And that's something that we're going to be working on together. So Agreed. Okay. Yeah. So... It is definitely something I need to practice on, uh, something I need to practice at, as a matter of fact. So, I um, mean, with that being said, I guess you'd say just break out the English teacher, <laughs> I guess you'd say. I certainly understand. I need help with English myself. Yes, I'm not a very good, um, I, in grammar school, I got a lot of D's and F's. And so when I went through school, I wasn't exactly the very best at English. Yes, ma'am. But what I learned is that it's easier to get your ideas and say what you need to say on paper. Mm -hmm. And then if you need help, you can always take someone else out to Starbucks or to lunch to help them with your grammar or to help smooth things out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So. Just like you'd be doing with me. <laughs> or, exactly. some, or somebody else. Someone else, too. Okay, I should say. Exactly. So I just want people in the audience to know you don't have to be the best at writing you don't have to be perfect mm -hmm. just know that you have to be willing to work with someone to have okay. them help you yes, okay all right okay. all right thank you for watching this video and please stay tuned